years ago, the Hard Rock Hotel collapsed. The Canal Street building was under construction at the time. And you know, the tragedy left three workers dead. Jose Ariola, Kenyon Wimberly, and Anthony Magretti. They were killed and several other people were injured. WDSU reporter Elizabeth Kubel live at the property right now as family members are still grieving and questions still remain about what comes next. Elizabeth. Yeah, and the property is still empty and it's really not clear what does come next. But for family who lost a loved one, it is still so difficult to think about what happened on this day three years ago. It becomes a little eerie when you start looking at the exact time when the building went down and you, know, you kind of start you thinking like, what was I doing at the time? It is a tough day for Frank Wimberly Jr. Three years ago, he lost his brother Quinion when the Hard Rock Hotel collapsed. When I'm explaining my brother's death to everyone, I tell them it's not normal. It's not normal to go in, go on to Google and see your brother, you know, trapped in a building. A pain that is hard to imagine and a sight that was horrific for nearby business employees. What they saw and heard is top of mind. The closest thing I could think to equate it to is a train. It was like really loud rumbling of a train and you could feel like everything was shaking and you just heard metal snapping and um, we didn't know where it was coming, how much had fallen because you couldn't see it. Like you just saw this black smoke and sud like coming towards the door. The day has linked loved ones of the victims forever. Frank tells us he's fighting for justice for his brother and continuing to remember all that he was. He was a human. He was a person who had feelings, a person, you know, who had goals, who had children, who had, he had people that loved him, had people that he loved. You know, just all of that was just taken away. And the developer's attorney told me they do not have a comment about plans for the site moving forward. They did send me a statement where they said in part that they are remembering the victims. We have posted that entire statement to our website, WDSU.com. Live in downtown New Orleans, I'm Elizabeth Kubel, WDSU News. All right, Elizabeth, thank you so much for that live report. And we've done some extensive coverage on the Hard Rock Hotel collapse since the morning it happened back in 2019. You can read all our past stories on the collapse, the victims, and what has happened in the last three years. You can do that by going to WDSU.com.